So uh, here we go, right. I had the name now, of my boat, Tony, on the other side as well. Uh, don't worry, no one will be interested in you or your boat, Kevin. I kind of just say that because you're the ordinary person here. Yeah. What they're interested in, hi folks, is of course me. So you're kind of, consider yourself like a, a side man in, in this one there, Kev. Do you know what I mean? Don't get ideas above your station. It, it yeah. won't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah. You know, uh, I think I have to stay in your lane. You know yeah. what I mean? You're an ordinary boater, which is fine. Don't, don't up, up, uh, I Quite down. often I talk to ordinary boaters, yeah. so that's not a problem. But, uh, no, so is uh, people, joking aside, this is me. This is a gentleman I met about an hour ago called Kevin. A bit weird, but never mind. Um, and uh, we're just going for a quick uh, couple of snifters in the local... Uh, boozer and it turns out kevin uh knows a close relative of mine from years ago so uh, it's a long story but anyway so we're gonna have a couple of beers and uh yeah i thought let's record it for posterity yeah. and because it'll give uh <laughs> you know yourself kev you'll be able to look back and say you know i've touched fame there Maybe. for a few minutes i was famous you'll be able to my granddad knew that, man. As many as 20 people may watch this, Kevin. That's the thing. Wow. Oh, God. You know, yeah. global YouTube star. Yeah. So, uh, no, joking aside, mate, I'm, uh, this is a nice place, this. I've got to say, I was I was impressed with this place. Yeah. And, you know, I'm going to straighten that chimney up. I've just noticed it's got a slight slant on it, which, of course, yeah. will now... I'm a conscientious, you know... Yeah. Conscience, but but that that mass there, that's that's cracker. That you know, that gets you internet. Yeah, I've, I've got an extension I put on mine. One day, it, it uh, fell in the canal, but it landed, and it was it was just sticking out the canal. So you managed, yeah. yeah. But yeah, no. Done on that one. Oh, we are clever, clever, Kev. Look, insect powder. All oh, right, the ants. I got infested with ants and earwigs in the yeah. summer of twenty one. Yeah. That's my so every time I moor up now, little dab of ant powder on the ropes. Tips, I'm, 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 I'm telling you. Well, stick around, kids, stick around. Yeah. You know, you'll pick a few things yeah. up. Hey. <laughs> no, listen, right, that's because I'm a paranoid, cowardly wimp. That's all that's about. Yeah. Normal people don't need it. Don't but, mind, I don't mind spiders, but anything else. Oh, mate, I had an infestation of earwigs and I, I oh I couldn't get yeah. shut and do you know something else right I'm not going to do a full thing because I've done this on this YouTube video so mm -hmm. uh, and everyone knows how I feel about them but uh, I was finding them in the fridge oh, no. I was wrapping you know the way you wrap a twist at a loaf of bread and you t you took it or whatever you think it's going to I found one about three or four curls in trying to get at the bread uh, I was finding them on the ceiling on the curtains a couple of times I found them in the bed and I was just, it was just awful. And uh, anyway, finally they died out. I got yeah. them. But now, whenever I moor up, and I've, I've found one or two every summer, I might find one or two that manage to stray in. They find their way in somehow, you know, you'll find the odd one. Yeah. But what you don't want to do is let them nest and start breeding in there like a pregnant female, because then you've got to. I've only ever found two of them. Oh, well, both, yeah. They didn't uh, propagate at anything. Yeah, like that, yeah. Because, um, I kill them. Uh. Well, yeah. Well, if they've had their wicked way before you killed them, well, you know, with another one. I killed them overboard as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ditch yeah. the bodies. Best, no, best, uh, you know, feed it the fish. Yeah, no, I'm okay, I'm okay with spiders. Don't worry about spiders. I, I need spiders. Yeah, yeah. But my daughter, when she comes on the boat, I've got this bat, you know, one of them. Oh, bats. the death bats, yeah, I've got she them. Loves it. She's killing all my spiders. Yeah, she yeah. The spiders alone, she's got a thing about spiders. Well, do you know what? I'm okay with like a certain level of population with the spiders. Don't but when when they get too big in size or too numerous, yeah. then I start taking action. I, I will I will swoop in and start a call, basically. Yeah. But. But yeah, basically, they, they, they're good Easter spiders, aren't yeah. they? They're doing a good job. Actually, I think they're lazy bastards. I don't think they hunt down any flies. Is Mine don't seem to be doing a good job. And I said, I said, what are you doing? She said, oh, she says, I feel guilty. She said, I threw a spider out. She says, but it went in the spy another spider's nest. She says, so I'm trying to get it out. And <laughs> so she's saving one spider, isn't it? Yeah. Check this out, Kev. Look at that. Like a half knocked down. All right. 
Yeah. I mean, it's a modern building, so it's not some kind of. Oh yeah, it's not some kind of historical thing, but yeah. it's a bit weird having a half knocked down building in your garden. But uh, anyway, no. Um, well, frankly, that's just weird. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Kev. I, I'm, I'm going to have to listen. I'm, I'm great with hippies. They do what they want. Yeah. Fill your boots. Have a good time. It, it, marry a spider for all I care. <laughs> but uh, you know, when you're pulling one spider out of another one's nest. Yeah. I think you're going a bit too far with it. That, that's what, exactly what I that, Yeah, that is going a bit too. Far. I think you. I think you know. I feel guilty. Nah, do you know what? She's probably a lovely bat. This when is the I say thing. I like spiders. I don't mean I, I like yeah. what they do. You, you're they not going to date one. No, they eat. Um, the feet, any, the flies. Yeah, yeah. Else. Well, do you know what, mate? I don't think they eat earwigs. You know. I, I think an earwig. I've been got bit once when I was a kid by an earwig. By an earwig, yeah. Oh. In the olden days, we used to have them old pegs in the, the alarm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I, I, well, I mean, I knew, I found out that they, they started biting about halfway through the infestation. Yeah. And I thought that, but that put a whole new complexion on it because I thought they're not interested in people. Mm. But then it turns out, yeah, they will actually bite. And it did explain a few one things. Them, one of them bats do kill them, you know. It takes two goes. It takes a couple of goes. Yeah, no, but yeah, no, but they're, they're flat on the wall, aren't they? That's the thing. You've got I the know. bat, they're flat on the wall. It's got, not. Yeah. You've got to jiggle them about. Jiggle them about, and then yeah. if you lose it, it's gone. Oh, yeah. So, no, uh, my method is a little bit of uh, kitchen roll or something, scrunch it up, squash, yeah. gone, yeah. and then wipe clean. That's it. Dispose of the body, yeah. no evidence. Oh, oh, I was ruthless with them, honestly. But they're, they're hard to kill as well. They're like little insect terminators. You know, get out of his way. Look, he's shaking his back end. Little swan there. No. That's a warning, that, when they shake the back end. Is it? Yeah. That's like before they get aggressive, they give you a little heads up. Yeah, wonderful you got to. Wonderful to watch. Wonderful. Yeah. You feel a sandy, eh? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, they will take on anything. I mean, anything. Dogs. You yeah, know. yeah. They're not scared of dogs. No, I know. <laughs> not, I know they're not scared of people because I found out oh, the yeah. hard way. I know. Is there? Is there any more? This is the spot I was thinking of, by the way. Oh, right. You've got rings there. Yeah. About twenty feet whatever yeah. so a 50 footer you'll just get yourself in I was thinking you know some people like to be handy for the road don't they you know what I mean I, so sort of you were one of them it's one of the things on my list when sometimes I, I'll drive a, my car down yeah spy out more and right I need, I need somewhere to stick the car I need a, a rubbish bin somewhere you know yeah things I look at people well think I'm, to be honest, no, no, I do the same thing. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm doing the same thing. But you know, you've got rubbish bins down at Anderson, and it's only an hour away, isn't it? So, you know, by the boat. So, if I've got rubbish bins, first thing I'm going to do, if I set off south, which I might do down your neck of the woods, actually, I might come down towards Middlewich if I've got to move the boat a few times. Uh, You're staying on it all over the winter. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm full time. Yeah, I'm yeah. full time, uh, Kev. Yeah, I'm what you call a proper boater, true boater. Yeah, is the word like, we I, use, true boater. Yeah. I go on for um, yeah. December and January. You see, this is the difference: proper boater, true boater, part timer. Yeah. Yeah, ten months for me. Do you know what though? They're like joking aside, right? I've got to say, those winter months. You sometimes have the best time. It's so peaceful. Oh, it's beautiful. You can see some of the videos I've got. You know, the, yeah. The uh, ducks walking on the water. Yeah, yeah. It's just amazing. I was I, honestly, I had the best time. I was on the Langollen last winter. Yeah. We were closed in by the locks, closures, and you know what? It was the most lovely place. It was beautiful. I know. I, I've been in there. I've got. Yeah. For you know, for the winter, for the summer, it's got. It's just mad busy in that tattoo. It used to be six pound. Now it's twelve. For the uh, just, just double it, so this is a massive barge. The salt barge, the salt barge yeah, it's uh, I don't know what that bilge, right? So, uh, what's your, what's your poison there, Kev? Let's see what they've got. Look at that, they've got a real fire going there and everything. That means someone's gone, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There you go. What's that black? We haven't got any. Oh, well, that settles that. <laughs> um, you know what? We've never had it since I've been here. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's in I've got worthies on in terms of... Something dark. Uh, that's the fact that I've got. No. 
Ten, what tends to happen is I might leave it running for like an hour, but I'll only use like five. Yeah, hours. so just yeah. be a little five minute thing. But I'll put it in because it'll be nice for um, Norma and exactly uh, mate to see yeah. just to see you on the thing. Yeah, it'll be funny. But when I said to them, when I said to John, her husband, um, I'll more than likely bump into them because you do. You bump you do, into, you bump into you know, everyone. I keep on bumping it. And I'm sure she thinks I'm bloody. Um, and um, what, what, what's the word? Stalking. Stalking. Um, Heidi. I, I oh, bumped yeah. into Heidi about three times. I've seen her about the last time, time. The last time she, she actually moored next to me. Yeah, so I yeah. said to her. Oh, she's stalking you then? Yeah, that's what I said. I'd get a call. Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I'd, I'd be all over. Yeah. The only thing. She's the only a bit thing, of a weirdo. The only I don't thing, mean that, by the way. The only thing we got in common is we love rum. So, ah. You know, both of us like rum. rum. Yeah. yeah. So that, we have that in common. But she she, she seems like a good egg, though. I've got to be honest. Oh, yeah. She seems like good laughing at it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, no, I've, I've seen. I think this is Heidi's sort of more home area, North yeah, Witch. Yeah. Because there. yeah, every single time I visited this area, I've always seen her knocking about that a few months ago. Uh, she's moved south now. She's off on a travel. You know, she's been off for the, the travels for the summer, I think. Yeah. But yeah, she was round here. The winter of twenty one, I saw her around here. You know where she was last winter? She was on the Langolan. She was on the Langolan. She was on Langolan Basin uh, when I was there. She was there a bit further down. She had a better spot than me. Yeah. So the yeah. Um, the the you know the fellow who gives you your tickets in the um, in the cafe thing That's there. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. He said you all didn't pay. He oh, said no, he's I, only. He said um, I, I, half of them didn't only pay one month. Yeah, I can, I can imagine. And, uh, was, to be honest with you, guys, I reckon there was quite a few. That's why he told me he's doubled the he's doubled the price this year. Oh, <laughs> yeah, to claw back some money. No, he, said I, he wouldn't. Some of them wouldn't go. Yeah, I, I, to be honest with you, I can I can tell you now. Um, I, I paid every single day because I thought it's yeah. six quid. It's cheap. It's cheap as chips. You've got all the electricity. You've got everything there. Yeah. Um, so uh, now I paid every single day yeah. I was there because I just yeah it, it was cheap. And listen, if they were asking fifty quid a day, I would have tried to get out. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I would have tried to get out of a day or two here or there. I would. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it was so affordable. I thought I, I, I've got to do that. Yeah. Uh, but I did get the impression not everyone was doing that. I know. Yeah. <laughs> and they are, they are, um, and people are on the budget. So I'm not knocking them. You know. But do you do, do, you do, there is a, a, an element of trust there as well because you could just come out and go past, and I don't think they'd um, say anything. No, they wouldn't. No, because you've gone, you've gone yeah. too fast. You've gone yeah. too fast. I don't think they make any effort to monitor who's going in and out of that basin. Um, and I think yeah. I arrived right I'll tell you what I arrived on I think it was around the 15th of December if you'd watch me videos Kevin you'd, you'd, you'd know this you know I mean I really I do my best mate I'm disappointed yeah, I'm disappointed yeah. I think you know the least you could have done not even me Milan Gollum one you know what I mean? anyway listen joking aside right I, arrived, I got down on the 15th and uh, I think it was about a day or two before they'd stopped they actually yeah. stopped proactively going round and, and asking people, right? Yeah. Because up till then they send the guy round and he stops at all the boats and he asks. Oh, so, nice. Yeah, yeah. He, if he sees anyone you, you have a ticket you're supposed to put somewhere. I don't know where to put yeah, it, so well, I'll put it in my pocket. I, 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 just, I just put it in my pocket because yeah. I mean it was pouring down the whole time. But it, <laughs> it was actually pissing down the uh, whole time. Oh mate. But you know, December land on what's it gonna yeah. do? It yeah. is what it is. So I was okay with that. But uh no one came round, no one knocked, no one put notices on, no one, there was no sign of anyone official yeah. the whole time. I was there for about 10 days, I think. Uh, and, you know, 60 quid for 10 days, I was, I was all right with that. I know. So, uh, for the, after the first two days, I went and knocked on the office and said, I'll, I'll give me five, you know, mm. I've already been here too. So, yeah, no, I didn't. High five. Like, yeah, high five. <laughs> for, for the record, okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, I fessed up, you know, I didn't try yeah. and say from now until. Uh, I, I said, yeah, no, I came in the day before and she said, oh, yeah, we thought we saw, you know. So they, they do notice. Yeah. They do notice. Yeah. Because they spotted when I came in. But, um, and then, uh, I wasn't, because I wasn't sure when I was going to leave. I thought, I'll see how it goes, you know. Yeah. If it's rubbish, 
uh, I'll just leave. But it's such a nice town in the winter as well. It's beautiful. But there came a point yeah. where they were going to close the aqueduct during daytime. Okay. I think between 9 and 3.30 it was going to be closed. So I thought there's going to be a mad rush to get past. As soon as it opens, it's going to be crazy. Everyone's going to... You know what I mean? Yeah. Because uh, it's only right till 4 o'clock. So... You've got half an hour. Everyone's going to be trying to get through just after. Anyway, that's what I thought might happen. Um, so I thought before the aqueduct sort of daytime closes, mm-hmm. I'll clear off. So I cleared off uh, 15. Do you know what I think it was? No, it was, it was uh, 28. So I was actually there nearly two weeks in the end. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, you know, whatever. But uh, I, I got off before they closed the aqueduct for repairs. Because okay. yeah. I just couldn't be bothered with this... Uh, Daytime close thing. I thought I don't be cruising in the dark. Yeah. I know it's only Why four o'clock. Is it daytime? I don't, well, working hours, isn't it? That's the thing. Daylight working hours. Yeah, it's safe because they're 120 foot up in the air, yeah. so they must require daylight. Maybe I, I don't know. You know. Yeah. Um, I, it's not like I've worked on an aqueduct. Uh, <laughs> I know. Yeah, you're not a, I thought you were an aqueduct. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I've worked on dozens of them. Yeah. yeah. No, I haven't. I haven't. Own, I've yeah. only been over one. I've got a minute you want to be back on. <laughs> I've only even been over one of them. Yeah. But that's that's my best guess. Is they needed daylight to yeah. do the work. So as soon as the daylight's dying, about yeah. half three, then they say, right, we'll knock off. We'll reopen it. And I couldn't be bothered. Yep. So I cleared off, but it was, it was great. I was I was there in the side. was five months on on the line, Well Yeah, no, yeah. I was about the same for me. Yeah. And yeah. <sighs> you know, when it's really cold, another good tip is you know you swap matches and all that. I'd be a couple of matches sticking out, you know, because your hands get that cold. Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. actually. So you yeah, have to, like, I can't actually. Yeah. I'm just so going to have to put the entire box of matches. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a couple of matches sticking out of the, 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 the lid, you know, so you can grab hold that's of them. Do you, do you not get one of those long light? I use one of them for my. I do get them as well. I was going to yeah. say, yeah, one of those yeah. long lighters. Yeah. I used to oh, no. They don't good. I, no, I find they don't work when it's no. cold. I tell you, I tried it. Um, so you lift the lid off, the, the cast iron lid off, right? Um, I've modified mine. You don't have a catch. They don't like you to, um, they, they want it to flop back down again, but I've made a little catch, which is uh, a bit of welding rod. And then, um, yes, 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 yeah. We both thought he didn't see that, dog. <laughs> Sack him. <laughs> but, I want his name. I want yeah. him to be awesome. So you failed. Told, you told him, you told him that, said, so you can, <laughs> I already done it, done. So now you've got the lighter, the long lighter, and you've got to put your hand down and go like that, and then you smell, and all the hairs off your of your arm vanishes. This sounds like a bit of a dangerous game to me. I so what you do is you throw the mets in, right? You then take the lid back down. You put a hat on, you know. You get your so mask. as not to get your hair burned off. <laughs> so yeah, you're so not you're sell- I'm not, you're not doing a good job of selling this whole thing. Here's the yeah. message these days. So, and it'll do the follicles in as well. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> you, throw, you throw the match in and close the lid straight away and it goes, ooh. So then you've got to lift it. There's a knack to it. You lift the lid up, get a bit more oxygen in, and um, and then it's great then, and it'll it'll carry on. And If you're still alive. You it, yeah. yeah. And you've got the use of all your and limbs. And your limbs and yeah. your hair and all that. But the best thing about it is it's so controllable. You can put it on. Yeah, you can yeah. put it on um, a very low yeah, um, yeah. pilot, yeah. and you can stick it right up. That's the and one thing fun. you know about a cold stove. Once it's going, the full chat, it's not going anywhere, yeah. and it's boiling for hours and hours. And there's very little you can do to to stop it. Once it's really roaring, yeah, you know, I find it takes like an hour to respond sometimes. Like, I'll close the vents down and all that. But the thing is still so hot, and it gives off all that heat for about probably the next hour, in my case. It's all the same. Yeah, exactly, exactly. exactly. Another little tip with the diesel ones is if you go to a garden centre and you buy a, you know, an old-fashioned terracotta plant pot, and you put that on the top, it it, it starts conducting the heat. It'll heat up, and it'll, it'll throw the heat out sideways. Otherwise... What happens with it? It just goes straight up. So a terracotta pot on top of it, 
and it conducts the heat. Do, do you know the biggest question I've had, right? In all honesty, I've got to say this, and the biggest concern I've had about diesel stoves is are they as hot as a cold stove? Because once those things no. get going, them cold stoves, no. they're like a no way. No way there. So in winter, in a bad winter, and I know we don't always get bad winters, so I'm not saying this is a reason, don't get a cold stove, you know, because they're not warm enough. If, if, if the situation that you're, led, you know, planning for only happens once every five years, then, you know, I can sort of live with that. But do you find that there's a period in the winter of even, say, a week, a couple of weeks, where the cold stove, uh, where the diesel stove is struggling to keep that warm thing, or... But is that a thing? Not on, not on, not on my boat because it's so well insulated. Right. You know, my boat's really well insulated. Right, right. So I have not, never found that. No. Once I light it, that's it. You know, I've you, never. You're warm enough. I'll no turn problem. it down. I'll turn it down rather than turn it up. Yeah. You know, I've never had that problem with, with that. Uh, oh, fair, fair enough. Reflex. No, I just and, wondered because that's something. I'm, I'm you not think. sponsored by Reflex. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm, I'm not getting paid for this. <laughs> you're definitely not getting paid for this. It's, I'll tell you. Mine's only it's 49, so you know, yeah. I I do need a bigger one because when grandkids mm. want to come and stay, like yeah, all the daughter yeah. stays, um. You know, although we've got a double bed, the other one turns into a double bed. You don't want that. You want two separate rooms. Yeah, and it's. Do you know what I would do? In all honesty, right? If I if I had a bigger boat, which I would like, what would you want? Fifty eight. Fifty are brilliant. Yeah, that's the ideal. Yeah, that's the ideal that is one. The ideal. And I should have jumped to that. Yeah. But because of my eyesight, it's not not that great at the moment. I went to get yeah. cataracts up. Um, I thought maybe I wouldn't be able to handle a fifty eight. But I know I can yeah. now, you know, yeah, and, but I'm know, stuck with this now at the moment. But In my the, case, you know what it was? It was the price. The boat was only um, five and a half years old, mm. coming up to six years old, and it was like 50k. And I thought, I thought the engine will be in good nick, everything will still be in good nick on it. You know, so I know it's only 50 foot, but it's been looked after. It's too good to miss, do you know what I mean? 50k. So what what length is your boat? It's fifty. Same as oh, yours. same as mine. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I don't know whether I paid too much for mine. I, I now I'm not sure whether it was fifty. No, this was only a couple of years ago. This is August twenty twenty. Oh, so right. So the prices have gone up. Yeah. They, yeah, I think they went up a little bit. I think after mine, that, I, we got mine in COVID. You know, when COVID was on. Fifty-five. So. It's nineteen years old. Yeah. Yes. Well, the fifty-eight footers though they do command a premium. That, that's one of the reasons I got a good price on mine was because it's only 50 foot and people who, who know what they're looking for, they're only too aware of that limitation in terms of space. You know, it's probably one of the biggest things that does annoy me about the whole boat, to be honest. Yeah. If there was one thing where people said, you know, what is it you don't like? Not about living on a boat in general, because that's a different thing like water tanks and the things, toilets and all the usual stuff. What about that specific boat? My probably my biggest one would be to say I just I wish I'd gone through the seven foot and I wouldn't get a bedroom I wouldn't get a bed what I do with the extra space I'd have an extra long lounge for living space and lounging space. Yeah, I'm a lounger. Yeah. I'm a born lounger. Yeah. Absolutely. No, honestly, just I think what it is is I, I, I'm not agoraphobic or whatever the word is. What's a claustrophobic? Yeah, but. I, I don't like it. Just like me. So I'm not, but I, I am. I've got like tendencies. Yeah. I've got many tendencies, but the, the one, the one that you know that doesn't fit with the boat is I like open space. I like big rooms, big space. But you can't have that with a mobile lifestyle. It's not possible, is it? It's just not an option. I'm used to living in the corridor now. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Right. I've got yeah. used to it. But what I think is, at least if I'd gone through a 57 footer, I would have had a bit of extra length in there to give a feeling of space that I haven't got at the moment. That's all canny. Because I think the same. Yeah. Yeah. I, and yeah. that's why I wouldn't put a bedroom in. That's but no, I, yeah. but I've got to have the bedroom, you know. No, no, you can still have convertible beds and have loads of I space. Know, but I didn't even know you were down there. It's yeah. very quiet. It's very quiet. Oh, I've got God. daughters and all that, and oh, they're like, God. they like their own room. Oh, it stinks, though. What's his name? Hugo. Oh, he's beautiful. Hugo. Do you know what? Oh my God, he's lovely. The character. He's so cute. Can he? Can he go? Oh, go on then. Oh my God, he's so. Hit him in the face with his own lead. <laughs>
Do you know, do you know where a little man said? He's one of those dogs, he sort of looks like a dog. Yes, uh, he's a scruffy dog, dog, isn't he? Oh, yeah, no, don't worry about that. It's, it's switched off. Oh, <laughs> it's, uh, it was a little camera thing. We've got oh, the Domino's coming in. Yeah. Domino's. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're Domino's? Yeah, we used to be. You're right, you're right. Eight o'clock. Okay, excuse for that. I've never, never played Domino's really. It's not a, no, no, we have to. No Domino's pizza. pizza. No, Domino's team's here at eight. Oh, Domino's team. That's yeah. much more boring. This is a Domino's I thought he was going to pizza. It's <laughs> <laughs> not the delivery. Man. What were you thinking? You were thinking Domino's. I was thinking pizza, and it's actually this it's table. Actually, is this is a Domino's table. I yeah. am the doziest. We've got an hour. I am the doziest pillar in the bloody world. I didn't even realise you were th- oh. talking about Domino's. No, do you know what I like about this guy though? I did. They did all the pizza. I was like, I'll order one. Get, get me in. I, I want. I want. It. I want. I want. Did you see me? I was really picky. I want Domino's. I want Domino's. No. Well, uh, do you know what I like about these stuff? Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, alas, alas, cruel. So, uh, I'm, uh, I'm a bit further down, to be honest with you. Uh, I, 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 it's not worth it. It's, it's one of those modern designs. Just, it's a bog standard Liverpool boat design. Oh, my there. Yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah. So I think. Oh, oh hell yeah, no. Go. <laughs> hell. No, no, not going past boats. They'll jump out and skin you alive. Sometimes these, I mean, don't get me wrong, further down there where it's black, yeah, absolutely. You know, because the, uh, the wolves and the, no, but these things, uh, these are great for just sort of ambling along the, uh, you can't that, blind a squirrel with these, I've found. That, that is, blind uh, a squirrel. That's, that's the sun gets a bit... That is amazing. Can I just ask, where did you get that from? Because I'm getting torch envy. It's, uh, what is it? It's, uh, put your torch at it. It's a hot surface. That's not very helpful, is it? Mm. It's the, the most powerful hand torch you can buy. Oh, is it? Like, <laughs> that's like... It's like that. Was it? Wow. <laughs> yeah, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend buying one. No, I'd bump into a wall before I... Yeah, Pay that much out. That's no, I, I always have my spare in my pocket for when I drop it. Uh, no, rides. do you know what? Don't don't get me wrong, right? No. I've cycled along these paths, and there are times where a super duper light can actually save you from hitting something, mm. then falling off. So it's got its yeah. place, it's, you know. Yeah, See, and also for the blinding. Yeah. Yeah. Knocks on your boat. Yeah. You, you turn it on and you go. Oh, like yeah. a secure. They, they, they can't see anything. That's, inc- that's amazing, that though. Jesus know. Christ, that's amazing. I've got to, I've got to get one. Ah. <laughs> it's not heavy, so you can use it as a cost. It has got, yeah. if, if, it can break your windscreen because it's got the thing to break a windscreen. And if someone's trapped in the car, and they've got the seat belt on. It's got a cut of that the seat belt as well. But um, yeah, and if you if you unscrew it, yeah, there is a way. To, there's two prongs coming out, and apparently there's a way to um, to Electrify. modify it into a stazer. <laughs> but um, Mate, yeah, this this sounds now. this sounds too hardcore for me. Oh, well, are you thinking about voting, boating somewhere oh, like in South America? Know, it's oh. too heavy to carry that's around. Manchester. Yeah, that's from Manchester. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lee, where I've just been. Aren't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh what a bit hole bit. it was. Yeah. That's what I've just turned it around. I was in Lee. I was going to moor there for the winter. I've turned around and come back. I didn't like it. No, I think that was a good shout. I was, I was by um, pe- uh, the water. Um, well, come on. What, what is it? The um, Pennington Flash. Pennington Flash, yeah. Did you notice the marina and I, the, uh, the opposite side, I was going in there for two months, but I changed my mind. <laughs> there you go. Oh, he's been very good. He's been holding it in, hasn't he? I know. But, uh, yeah, this is me here. Yeah. There he is with his big mask. Yeah, oh, I've got a big pole, guys. I've got to be honest with you. Yeah. Listen, you know. Um, I suppose Heidi would make a few uh, <laughs> <laughs> in the endos about that. Yeah. 
Sorry, uh, oh, sorry. Oh, no, it's about got some darling. Oh, you recognise that? Darling, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, See, I just... Yeah, it's a Liverpool boat. Yeah, it's the same thing. You've got your uh, protective mesh on you, haven't you? Oh, brilliant, yeah. <laughs> Have you had a lot of people throwing stones at you? No, no, it's just for insects. Do you know I need... Uh, just for insects. No, I those. even have it. I even have it on... Um, where are they? Let's have a look. Uh, see the... These things? I even... I even keep it on yeah. the... Um, the mushroom vents, I keep insect oh, mesh yeah. around that. Oh, you don't like spiders. Then. I so really don't the, like spiders. You've got the two. So there's two sets. There's four here, and oh, there's sorry. two on the back. Just yeah, yeah. Stand up on this. There's four here, and there's two on the back. Okay. So this okay, is okay, this cool. is 660. There's about 750 on the back. Right. But these are rubbish because they don't tilt. They tilt in theory. What, one of mine tilts. The yeah, no, the, no, I mean, in. no, no, they'll physically tilt, but if you tilt one, it blocks the back one. Oh, yeah. So to tilt, you have to have single line like that. Yeah. When you see four in a row, forget about tilting, it's never going to work, yeah? Mm. Because they block each other, yeah? I'm going to put one more on mine, mine's 400. But these things, honestly, guys, I've got to be honest with you, these are fantastic. The you can see well. the magnetic, yeah, okay. you, you stick a little bit of mag, that's adhesive. That's a magnetic strip. Just like a fridge thing. Just like yeah. a fridge thing, and they, they click on, so you can oh. take them off. I want them on my doors. All summer yes. long. All yeah. 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 On, on, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can get them to fit the door. I've got them on mushroom That's vents. What I want. In, in the door vents, you know the door vents you have to, for the stove? Inside the door vents, I've got this material as well. No insect is getting inside this bastard, I'm telling you. I'm they not having get it. In, they're not getting back out. They're not they're getting lie. back out again, they're mate. Lie. They're not making it out yeah. now. No, because listen, once you've been infested with earwigs, you take <laughs> it. To, you take. Yeah. And, and another thing I do, by the way, I'll show you this, uh, Graham. Just a little sort of a a boaty uh, tip. If you're not an insect fan, is uh, whenever yeah, you're more. Yes, I, I saw that. Whenever you're more that. off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, carpet adhesive, spray on adhesive, so it sticks. Only just a few, just a little quick spray, a little bit of carpet adhesive, then ant powder or anti-insect powder. Well, that will yeah. stop anything. Without that, uh, I'll be eaten alive within hours. Mm. It's guaranteed. You I won't even survive the night. You need to get a better net, then obviously you're not there. No, but they they they, uh, they can still get in. There's little gaps. I'm going to take that there one on board. That's another tip I've got. But, yeah. Yeah. But... It'll as die. I say, as soon as that drops down, it'll die. It's just, it's just one of those things. Once you've had mm -hmm. uh, earwigs in your bed and in your fridge and in your bread, and just oh, no. you're finding them ten times a day on the curtains, on the roof, mm -hmm. then you start thinking, right, I've got to stop this guy. And, and that's why I, I know it's paranoid and it's nonsense. No, but, no, it's a good idea. I but it has ants, ants has made me uh, yeah, move away. Exactly. You know, I've. I've, I've well, I, somewhere, I, and I've seen an ant's nest, and I thought, no. Earlier on, earlier on this summer, I moored up on um, down on the River Weaver. I moved down to get the blacking done there. Moved down there, and I parked up um, in uh, Northwich. Beautiful moorings down there, guys. Honestly, get yourself down. But anyway, parked up, and um, I hadn't even thought of doing the... Because I do this an hour afterwards, you know, get myself sorted. This is the last thing to do. And uh, I was inside, I was... Uh, and within about 10 minutes, it came out, there's like 20 or 30 ants all milling round because the morning ring I'd picked uh, was near to a, a nest. And they were, they were all just flooding on. And once they're on, you can't, that's the thing, like earwigs, once I, I, they're on. I can, see, I can see an opportunity here. If I designed something that would people are reckon as well, it'd stop people tripping oh, yeah. over it as well. <laughs> So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invent, you know, like a, a, um, a red, red dwarf, you know, you remember the um, stress thing, the red um, oh, tension, well, the tension sheets, thing, yeah. Tension sheet. I think I've just got yeah. That's it. To be honest, Thank listen, you, yeah. with this, right, a, a lot, a lot of guys, a lot of guys you talk to will say, what are you on about? We never have a problem. It's what are you even, you're mental, you know. And to be fair, it, it has got to the point did of. You say, I've never had a problem because I use that. Yeah, exactly. Well, because I did have a problem. Three but thousand I d pound of cocaine each time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Honestly, you, if you're there for a week, 
what is the harm in putting a little bit of ant powder no, on the ropes? No. And do you know what? They can't get past it. They will not get... And if they do go through that, there's enough poison on them, they're not making it into your boat. They'll be dead by the time they get They will be dead. <laughs> yeah. I and found them. You can throw your fishing line yeah, in. Fish will get them as well, then. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, guys, I know it sounds like paranoia, but I, once you've had that happen where they're in your bed and everything, you're like, oh, oh Jesus, I, I can't be doing this. Start itching now yeah. Until I get oh, no, they're on, your, they're on your <laughs> boat, mate. They've infested. <laughs> they've taken over now. Oh, they've looked at yours and said, yeah, oh, it's a big, yeah. <laughs> yeah There's a few yours. dozen of them. Yeah. What they do, they go through the eardrum first. Oh, no, uh, no, then they start on the brain. Then they, yeah, then they start on the brain. They go out, they go in the eardrum and then they go out the other way. Yeah, you might. Case, yeah. that's what happens yeah i'd have to get the flex no <laughs> I, th- I think that i think that's nonsense but that's so unpleasant to have on your oh, boat no. oh I my know. god and they're fucking indestructible as well you can't kill them you, you sort of do that and it'll still stagger off it'll still keep it